Today I'm going to show you how to make a personalized app icon for your website, whether it be your blog or any website. My friend's blog, dailyrevolutions.com, when you go to share, add a home screen, it just pulls in part of the page to display as a picture. But we want to set up a personalized page. Right now you can zoom in and then add again and it will change the picture there, but it's not a dedicated picture that is set by you. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is we need to choose what icon that we want to have. Here, he has a button that he has previously made, and that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to save it onto my desktop so that I can know where I put it. Once I save it, down here I can see that the image is a GIF that it downloaded. So I need to convert that into a PNG. So on the Mac, I can open it up in a preview and I can save it as a PNG. Right here, we're gonna change this to PNG, but we also need to name it appropriately so that it is able to be recognized by the iPad to post it in the icon place. So as I go to the code that we're going to use, don't be scared, this code is really easy to put in, but we need to name it apple-touch-icon. So apple touch icon. And then we just make sure that that's saving as a PNG on my desktop so I remember where it is. Okay, once that is saved, we need to have the icon be hosted somewhere online so it can pull it off the web to put it into your document. I've been using PhotoBucket. You can sign up for free at photobucket.com. And then once you've done that, you can upload your image. Grab the Apple Touch icon. Once your picture is uploaded, it will be down here. You click on it. You can then copy the image URL. Once you copy the image URL, I'm going to post this code so you can copy it, but you need to replace your URL right here with what you have created. Once you have this code, copy the code, and then go to your website HTML. On Blogger, you just need to go to design and then edit HTML. Now you need to find head. If you cannot find it, I do a search. You can just search head. And here it found it and we need to place it right above the head. So I copied the code and now I'm going to paste it. Then I'm going to save my template. And once it is saved, we then can go back to the iPad and refresh. Once the page is refreshed, we can then click the share, add to home screen, and now we have our icon. Then we can add it directly to our home page, move it to where we would like so that we can have easy access to the blog, and there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please leave comments of things that you would like to learn how to do, and uh, hopefully I can be able to help you, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.